determine the reaction at a b and c for the frame as shown in figure okay so rod ab is a two member force two member force because there is a no force between a and b okay so we have to draw the free body diagram for bc member okay bc rod okay so just try it on just try it on statement for that so this one statement for rod ab is a two force member because no force and couple is acting between a and b so we have to draw a bd of bc the force in the rod ab is fab is acting at 60 degree okay so fab acted towards the point b okay so just draw the fbd of bc portion this is b to c b to c b to c b to c so there is one 2000 load newton load it is acted center of b to c 2000 load so b to 2000 it is 2 meter this distance and this distance it is also 2 meter okay so at c it is hinge support okay there is a two reaction one it is rcy this one it is rcy and second one it is rcx this one it is rcx 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 okay so this force it is fab it is towards the point this one it is fab 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 with horizontal it is 60 degree this angle it is 60 degree. So this angle it is 60 degree. 60 degree. So resolve this FAB. In, it is in two direction. One it is x direction. Second one it is y direction. So in x direction it is angle with respect to x axis. So that's why it is FAB cos 60 in x direction. In y direction, it is FAB sine sixty. So this one it is FAB sine sixty. FAB sine sixty. FAB sine sixty. So it is FAB sine sixty. FAB sine. Now take moment at c is equal to zero. So this one it is algebraic sum of moment at c is equal to zero. It is summation of algebraic sum of all the moment. At C is equal to zero. Okay, so for that assumption, and the force moment it is clockwise direction, so it will be take negative. So moment it is clockwise, it will be take negative. The so moment it is anti-clockwise, it will be take positive. The so moment it anti-clockwise, it will be positive. Okay, so it will start from FAB sine sixty. So this move force it is How it is rotating about the C? Here it will be clockwise direction. Means it is negative. It is clockwise direction. It is negative. So minus minus FAB sine sixty. So perpendicular distance it is four meter. So this B to C it is four meter. Then second one it is this two thousand newton. It is going. How it is rotating? It is. Anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise direction two thousand into perpendicular distance. It is two meter. Two thousand. This perpendicular distance. It is zero. This one. It is two meter into two meter is equal to zero. Okay. So from this relation, it will get FAB value. So write down FAB is equal to two thousand into two thousand into two divided by sine sixty into four. So it will be one one five four point seven newton. One one five four point seven newton. This one it is FAB value. Okay. So apply second equilibrium equation that is summation F Y is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the vertical forces that is summation F Y is equal to zero. Okay. So first of all this FAB sine sixty is going upward direction. So it will be positive. 
will be as a b sin 60 it is upward direction then 2000 it is going downward direction yeah this 2000 it is going downward direction so it will be degree to minus 2000 2000 then plus this rcy it is going upward direction then plus rcy then plus rcy is equal to zero so from this relation fab we know that fab it is 115 1154.7 so just put 1154.7 sin 60 then minus 2000 minus 2000 then plus rc1 rc1 is equal to zero so from this relation it will get rc y is equal to random rc y is equal to so 114.7 into sin 60 minus 2000 it will be minus 1000 take it is the right side it will be get positive 1000 newtons this one it is rcy value rcy value okay so this one it is rcy value so now apply second equilibrium equation second equilibrium equation that is summation fx is equal to zero algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces summation fx is equal to zero so for that assumption the force it is right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is left side it will be take negative it will be take negative okay. so first of all this in x direction that is fab cos 60 and rcm both are going right side both are positive first of all fab cos 60 then plus rcx rcx is equal to zero so fab value we know that fab it is 1154.7 cos 60 then plus rcx rcx is equal to zero r6 is equal to it will be rcx is equal to 1154.7 into cos 60 into cos 60 so it will be minus 577.35 newton 35 newton so minus indicates the direction of force it is 577.35 newton okay so just show the direction of force it is left side okay left side because we are assumed direction it is actual right side okay so r6 it is we are assume it is right side but we got negative value means we assume direction it is wrong it is actual actual direction it is left side so r6 it is 577.35 okay so now fab is equal to so here you can write down fab is equal to it is fab is equal to it is ra is equal to it is 115 1154.7 newton this one it is ra okay so these forces were calculated first it is fab it is 1154.7 newton then rcy it is 1000 newton then rcx it is 577.35 newton it is direction it is direction it is left side okay then fab is equal to ra it is 1154.7 115.7 newton okay so this is your answer okay